guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally sitting down and filming what's in my hospital bag. I'm going to be including what's in my bag and what's in baby's bag in this video. I am going to be packing a few bits for Connor, but they're not as exciting as mine and baby's bits. Things for him will be like um, spare change of clothes, um, toothbrush, uh, like phone charger, stuff like that. But more exciting to show you the baby stuff and what I am taking if you were interested. So at the time of filming this video I am something like six days away from my due date so I thought I need to hurry up and film this before I actually go into hospital. I'm gonna film once I've given birth um, a video something along the lines of what I actually used from my hospital bag. So I'm a first time mum, don't have any children never given birth before, I've never actually even stayed in hospital like overnight. I've been admitted to hospital but I've never stayed overnight so um, if I've forgotten anything or you have any suggestions um, it's going to be too late for you to comment by the time this video goes live but hopefully if you're watching this in the future and you are going into hospital to have a baby then hopefully this um, will give you some ideas. I'm hoping to go and give birth in the birth centre. There's a birth centre attached to the labour board at my local hospital so I'm hoping to be in the birth centre which is a bit more of a chilled vibe. Um, I'm going to go through the baby's stuff first. I currently have his stuff packed in a suitcase. It's like a carry-on size suitcase, um, easy to pull along. When you open the suitcase, I've not packed it in any like particular way, I've just chucked everything in. I've got a few bits in the zip compartment, like that. It's quite heavy so I can't lift it properly, but I will pull things out and show you what I've got. So first thing on the top I have this baby blue cellular blanket. I've done all of his washing um, a few weeks ago now so everything is all washed and clean. I used a fairy non-bio and then comfort fabric softener so everything just smells amazing. So this is for like when we're in hospital um, to keep him nice and warm. So I then packed his clothes in sandwich bags so these were just from asda these were just we just had these downstairs in the kitchen and in each sandwich bag i've actually written down on my phone as well um what's in them in this one um we have um a white zip up um sleep suit a hot air balloon white sleep suit and a blue stripy zip up sleep suit and these are all up to one month these this um package so this is up to 10 pounds i also have two short sleeve body suits and two long sleeve body suits in here so i don't want to open it just because it is all folded nicely in there but you can see um that there's one sleep suit two sleep suit and then there's the stripy one and then you've got um the body suit on one side the long sleeve ones and the short sleeve ones on the other side. I am going to write on here with a sharpie so that Connor knows what bundle is for what. So when I'm like in the hospital in labour, he can um, just pass me the things really easily. In this bag, we have um, a blue zip up first size sleep suit, a blue dinosaur first size sleep suit, and a cheeky monkey button up sleep suit. And the Zip Up, Dinosaur and the Star one, which are from Next, um, they are up first size, so up to £7.8. And the Cheeky Monkey one, which was from, uh, where did I get that from, Tesco's, is up to £10. And then I also have in here three short sleeve bodysuits, so I think by looking, I've got one white, one navy and one grey. So that's the next bundle of clothing I have. And the last bundle of clothing I have is zero to three months. We've been having to have um, growth scans throughout the pregnancy. I've had two. So I had one at 32 weeks and he was measuring £3.9. And then we had another one at 34 weeks and he was measuring £5.4. So I don't think he's going to be a, big, a very big baby. I don't think that he will even need to wear zero to three while he's in hospital but I just wanted to have it just in case it doesn't take up much room at all and in here um, I have two sleep suits zero to three 
two short sleeve bodysuits and two long sleeve bodysuits. So the zip up one um, is from Next and the one that says Daddy and, and Mummy Love Me is from Matalan. So we've got three sandwich bags of clothes. I am also packing um, like a spares bag in Connor's car which I might show you at the end of the video if it's not already too long that has extra things in for baby and me in case we need to stay in for whatever reason so in that bag I have um, extra outfits for baby, I have extra nappies, extra wipes, um, I also have extra maternity towels for me and I have um, what else is in there, an extra blanket and stuff like that so we do have extras that will be in the car if we ever need to, um, if Connor needs to run to the car and grab more but I think um, if we have a straightforward birth and we can go home within a few hours then that will be more than enough clothes. Next thing we have is a pack, actually two packs of nappies. This one is a size 1 so this is for 4 to 11 pounds um, in weight and this is a brand new pack of 22 and then I was given these by my friend who didn't end up needing them all so they are open um, there's probably about 18 in here left and this is size 0 so this is £7 and under so just in case he is tiny then I've got a size 0 as well and these are also pampers we've then got a little jacket cardigan this is from, where is this from, I don't remember, this is from um, Sainsbury's and this is up to one month £10, so this is for when we are coming home, um, it's got little ears on the hood, it's really really soft knitted, it's got little rolled up sleeves, little buttons, um, I thought I would go with grey because grey just kind of goes with any outfit, um, but I know that you can't put babies in like pram suits or um, like snow suits and then put them in the car seat so you have to have them in something thin and then a blanket over the top so I bought that cardigan and then I also bought this blanket for the way home this has um, got hot air balloons on it this was from Mamas and Papas and this was given to me by my best friend at my baby shower probably one of my favourite items from my baby shower I absolutely love it it's not too thick but it's not too thin um, it's got a little print on the other side as well really soft and it smells amazing I'm also taking these into the hospital as well so these are um, what do you call them like baby they're called baby moment cards but I think other people know them as like milestone cards and um, there's cards in here that say um, you know the day I was born or me at hospital or something so I'm just taking the whole pack it's still sealed um, and if I remember to do it when I'm there then great if not it doesn't really matter but I thought I would take those to um, have some nice pictures if we can then we've got another sandwich bag sandwich bags are my best friend I'm gonna open this and show you what's inside I've got two um, scratch mitts, all of the sleep suits that I have in every single packet actually have sleep um, scratch mitts built in but these are maybe for like straight after he's born, before he gets dressed, um, if he's in a nappy and he's not clothed then I just had some spare white ones so he doesn't scratch himself when he's not clothed. I've then got a baby brush and comb set, I know this isn't really necessary but you never know, he might have a lot of hair and it's just nice to have. I have then got one, two, three, three hats. This print matches um, the hot air balloon sleep suit that I have. This one was from Tesco's. It says newborn on it and it's got a little, um, it's got bears on it. And then this one, which is really, really small, is um, just white with dinosaurs. And this doesn't have a label in it, so I'm not sure where it was from, but I think this was given to me at my baby shower and then I also have two white muslins in there as well I do also have extra muslins in the extra bag that's going to be in the boot of Connor's car but I don't know how much we'll need to use them when we're in hospital anyway and then in the zip pocket on the side I have a, another Ziploc bag a pack of baby wipes these are the Audi extra sensitive as mild as cotton wool 
bathing wipes they're 99.9% .9 water I am planning to use um, cotton wool in the hospital but it depends how messy or it depends how like hard it is to do so I have got these to take as well to do the first few nappy changes with um, some people really get on with using cotton wool and warm water some people just say that it's a lot of faff and that they just use baby wipes straight away so I'm bringing one of each um, and then we can start with the cotton wool and if it's not working then we will use the baby wipes I have a tiny little pot here of some Child's Farm moisturiser for baby um, I don't really want to put too many products on him when he's um, you know like straight out of the womb when he's brand new but um, I've just got a tiny amount in there if I need to use it and it is suitable for birth I have a hand sanitizer. This is um, just, you know, before and after nappy changes. This was from Audi. I have a nappy cream. I doubt that I'll need this um, actually in the hospital, but it's, it's handy to have. This is the 30 ml, um, or 30 grams, sorry, the Pampham nappy cream. And then I just have a handful of breast pads. I think I have some more in my hospital bag, but in his, I think I've just got six in there. So that is everything that I have packed for baby, aside from all of the spares that we have in the car. I remembered I've also packed another cardigan as well, which is up to one month, and that's in the spares bag. Now on to stuff for me. First thing that doesn't actually fit in my bag are some Lucozades. Apparently these are like a godsend when you are in labour. I've got a pack of four. Um, obviously I'll be drinking lots of like water and squash and stuff throughout labour anyway but I've got these for some energy. I have got some toiletries which I'll just quickly run through. Um, these fit in the top of the um, bag but at the moment they were just next to it so I thought I would start with these. In this bag, this is kind of like postpartum so in here I have some um, toilet tissue wipes. These might be nicer to use um, then toilet roll once I've given birth. I actually got these quite a while ago in a cherries haul. I'm not sure if you remember that video when I was something like four or five months pregnant and I haven't used them so they are brand new and I thought they would come in handy. Um, I have some items from the Natural Birthing Company. I have the Bottoms Up Soothing Bottom Spray and the Cooling Body Spray. So this is for after, and this can be used during labour. This can actually be used um, throughout pregnancy as well, um, throughout pregnancy and labour. I haven't actually smelt this. Oh my god. Oh, that's lovely. So you can gently mist over face and body with eyes closed, use as often as required. So I thought that would be quite nice and refreshing. I've then got a pack of Tesco's Medium Disposable Briefs. I did open these just to have a look what they looked like because my friend gave me these. She didn't end up using them. And they are like tiny little rolled up parcels. So you have to wear um, like a pad or something with them as well. But they're just disposable so less washing when I come home. I have then got two flannels. One green and one black. These are for um, like my forehead. Um, if I get hot, we can make these really nice and cold, put them on my back. And then I also have some deep sleep pillow spray. This isn't necessarily for um, making me sleep, um, but I use this quite often before I go to bed and it, the smell just reminds me of feeling relaxed. There's, there's only a little bit left as well, so I might just end up using that while I'm in labour and then I can get rid of it. And then I also have another um, aromatherapy item that I'm bringing, which is a Sweet Dreams aromatherapy ball. I've had this for a while and the smell makes me feel really relaxed. You can apply this on your pulse points, so on your temples, on your wrists. And the last thing that I'm packing in that bag really randomly is a nail file. You're probably thinking the last thing I'm going to be wanting to do is file my nails in labour. Um, I am going to cut them um, like soon so that they're a bit shorter than they are now but having a snapped nail or broken nail is like the worst feeling ever and if I break a nail in labour it, it will really bother me so I just packed a nail file to have on hand if I need it. Then in this um, bag here I'm going to open it up 
So quick fire, I have pack of tissues, I have cowpole, you're going to laugh at me. Obviously it's not going to like <laughs> um, take away all the pain but I'm really 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 bad at taking um, tablets so when I take paracetamol I take cowpole. Um, yeah, I don't really know why I've packed this because is it really going to do much? Probably not but it's there maybe even for after birth if I, if I, if I have a headache. Um, or something then I can use it but um, I've then got some micellar water if I've got makeup on at the time I've got a brand new foaming shower gel this is from Rituals I got this for Christmas and it just looks really nice and luxurious and it's flamingo flower and pink grapefruit I wanted to save this for after birth it's like a little treat <laughs> I've then put some of my shampoo and conditioner into smaller bottles this was the um, Aussie shampoo and conditioner that I got for Christmas. I've got some toothpaste and toothbrush, another hand sanitizer, deodorant, lip balm because apparently if you use gas and air your lips get really really dry, a pack of face wipes. These aren't necessarily for removing makeup, these can just be if I need a quick freshen up or if I'm feeling hot. I've got some hair bands so I can tie my hair up, moisturiser, looking forward to using this this is um, a cool it spray I use this almost like every summer it's instant cooling for your face and body it's really nice and cold it's just like compressed um, can of water and last but not least in that bag I'm actually taking a comb which isn't for my hair before I was pregnant I saw on TikTok and Instagram that a lot of women um, use a comb in labor to squeeze um, and it's to do with like distracting or like taking the pain from your stomach and putting it somewhere else so this isn't actually for my hair this is for like pain management so you're supposed to hold the um, comb in your hand and squeeze so I will let you know whether I end up using this or not but I thought I would just take it um, so that I've got it and then we move on to the bigger part of the bag I'm just going to pull things out at random I have a peri bottle. I absolutely love that this is pink. It makes what it you it makes what it's actually used for seem really exciting, but it's not. It's basically just to dilute your um, your pee after you've given birth. There's a little um, little holes in the end of the spout, so you fill the bottle with warm water. You pull the spout out, and then when you're going for your first few wees, um, you position the spout at your bits and you squeeze and um, it just dilutes your urine so it doesn't sting if you've had any stitches or anything so I've got one of those. I've also got a water bottle this was from Primark everyone says to get a water bottle with a um, straw or like a spout so that's what I did. I am packing with me two 90s both of these were from Primark this grey one is from the Parenthood range and it's got buttons um, at the top it's short sleeve this I am wearing in a size 6 to 8 extra small, which does actually fit me while I'm pregnant. It's obviously a little bit tight around my tummy, but that's for me to wear after I've given birth. So this is in a size small, which is 10 to 12. And this has buttons all the way down, so I can just wear this open. It's long sleeve. You can roll the sleeves up because they do have buttons on them. The material is really, really soft. I have then got a um, vest top. This is a medium, 12 to 14. Um, I just thought I would pack this. I can either wear this when I'm coming home, um, wear this while I'm in labour. Just I wanna, I wanted a few options um, because I am planning to um, be in the birth pool, not to actually give birth in, but to labour in. So if I'm in the birth pool, then I'll be wearing my bikini um, or my bikini top at least. But if I'm on the bed or if I'm on the ball, then I've got options. I've got nighties. I've got a vest top, and then I also have some. Um, uh, would you call them like crop tops bras these were from Amazon um, I've got a black one and a grey one I've not actually worn the grey one before so it does still have the tag on it and then I also have this one which is really comfortable from Primark I've heard that labour wards and hospitals and birth centres are really really hot um, so I might just want to wear one of these I might want to wear a vest top I might want to wear a nighty. And then for after birth I have some nursing bras from Primark and these are the ones with the clip down. So I've got a white one in size large and a black one. 
in size large they came as a two pack and they were eight pounds next thing is a whole pack of tesco health maternity towels this is a pack of 20 these are really thick i've got some underwear these ones are 10 to 12 and these ones are 12 to 14 i don't love the pattern of these ones when i went to pick some up they only had um the black ones in size small but i also wanted some in a medium just so that they weren't tight so they're both full briefs full coverage briefs so they come up quite high i've got a four pack of black and a four pack of colored ones but nevertheless i just wanted something that was dark um i didn't want white ones or anything like that in another sandwich bag i have here six of the always um like nighttime towels um i probably won't need these while i'm in hospital because um i think when you're in hospital bleeding's a bit heavier so it's not until you get home that you then like transition onto pads like this but i've just bought six just in case and then i have one two three four four um again like adult nappies so again i just wanted to have uh, a variety so i bought those again less washing next thing is a pair of fluffy socks everyone says to bring fluffy socks so i've just got one pair i've then got some slippers i've not worn these yet these are brand new i'm saving these for the hospital these are from primark i've got them in a size three to four and they're the ones with like memory foam bottoms and then for the shower i just have some good old 90p primark flip-flops these are again a three to four this whole video seems like it's sponsored by primark it's not Nearly at the bottom of the bag, I've just got a few snacks now that I have packed. Um, I have some milk chocolate OTs biscuits. Two packs of sweets, got Haribo Star Mix and Haribo Tamfastics. Squares bars and some Belvita strawberry filled soft bakes. And some Jaffa Cakes. Everyone says to bring snacks, the more the better. Um, I do want to eat and drink in labour as normal, so I've got some snacks to keep my energy up. Oh, I also forgot this as well. I have a squirty squash apple and black currant. This is no added sugar. I don't really like water very much. I know it's good for you, and I will be drinking water, but if I want a little bit of um, flavour in it, then these are great. This makes up to 20 um, glasses, so I can just add that to my bottle. I have a bikini, this is the bikini top, just a black one, and bikini bottoms if I decide to have them on or not, who knows. Bottoms? Um, I've got a bag, and this is for dirty clothes, a lot of people have said um, that it's easy to pop all your dirty clothes and worn clothes in a bag so that when you get home um, you don't have to root through your hospital bag and decide what's clean and what's dirty, you can just get the dirty bag, put a wash on. Um, and not have like blood stained things floating around in the bag and then I have a fan so the handle comes down like that and you can hold it it's got three settings one two three I don't know if you can see how strong that is but pretty strong and then I've also got the um, charging cable so that I can charge it if I need to it does stand um, you can bend the, the fan back so that it stands on like a desk or a table so I thought that would be a lifesaver. I have some soft mints, I forgot they were in there. And I have some headphones, I'm planning to listen to some of my hypnobirthing audio tracks so I've got some headphones I can use. And that is absolutely everything. I do have a list on my phone of things that I need to add to my hospital bag on the day um, because I can't pack them beforehand. So my hospital notes I will need to pack and bring with me when I go. I also printed out yesterday my um, birth preferences. Um, I can't show you the front page because it's got like my hospital number and phone number and stuff on it. But for example, if I show you the second page, the template that I used was from the um, Positive Birth Company. So it has um, sections about pain relief, um, positions for labour, birth pools, it just looks like that. So I have my birth preferences with me, which I will be packing and I have two copies of those. I will also be packing a um, like a nursing pillow or maybe my like everyday pillow that I use but again I can't pack that until the day. 
um, phone charger, a long phone charger. Everyone always says make sure that you have like the ones that are like two meters long. We do have one um, that's next to either side of our bed, but obviously I use that every day. So I will pack that with me. Um, also a, um, a bath towel or a shower towel. Um, I think they provide small towels, but not big enough really to dry yourself with after a shower. So I'm gonna bring my own towel. Hairbrush, that's something I'm still using every day. And then obviously the car seat, which um, we took out of the box um, and done a test run in the car with to check that we could like seat belt it in and everything. Um, so yeah, not to forget the car seat. And I'm also going to be taking with me some um, colostrum. I have been um, hand expressing colostrum for a few weeks now. I did mention um, colostrum harvesti harvesting in a video a few weeks back. I'll link the video below because in the description of that video I have some information from the NHS website that's helpful if you were interested in like learning how to do it, what the benefits. So I'm going to take some colostrum in with me. You have to keep it frozen so I'm going to take it in with a cool bag um, and ice packs and then when you get to the hospital you ask the midwives to put it in the freezer for you and then if the baby has any problems with latching then they can be given colostrum. Oh, and then my camera and my camera charger I'm also planning to take. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be vlogging or I'm just going to be taking videos and pictures for personal um, like memories or not, but I am going to be taking my camera and I also need to pack a um, like spare change of clothes for myself. Basically like a going home outfit but that's kind of like subject to what's um, clean and dry on the day. It's not going to be anything fancy, just going to uh, grab some jogging bottoms or leggings and then just like a zip up jacket or something. We probably live about 15 minutes, 15 to 18 minutes away from the hospital, so anything I have forgotten, Connor will be able to come back um, and grab and yeah, like I said, hopefully we're not in hospital for too long, so um, I might not even end up using half of this stuff, but who knows, I think it's best to kind of overpack then underpack. So that's everything. It'll be interesting to see what I do actually end up using. Like I said, I am going to be filming a video called what I ended up using from my hospital bag. So guys, that is everything I'm packing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions you want me to answer, like I said, this video is going up after I've given birth. So unfortunately, I can't ask for any suggestions um, or ask for anything that I'm missing because this is going up in about two weeks time but hopefully by then I will have my baby and I'll be filming lots of exciting new content coming your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you aren't already. Bye!